Okay, well, I'm still working with this float motor idea where you reduce the friction down by floating the uh, rotor in fluid. And it takes very little to move the rotor around. And then if you put a little driver next to it, it'll operate right through the glass. And uh, this would be a kind of a neat little desktop toy. Won't run very long. I've just got a, a little bit of juice in a super cap. But people ask me, what was this circuit? What's the driver circuit for this? So I, I went ahead and drew it up so people would see what it is. Um, what this is, is um, it's a prototype board. You get it on um, Amazon or eBay. They're small, and it makes it a real easy way to build up one of these um, reed switch or electronic with transistors driver's units that you can just stick a super cap on. It's easy to test your motors with. But basically, let me show you what's going on with that. It is a sewing machine bobbin, a plastic one. 30 gauge magnet wire measures about 10 ohms. Air core, no, no metal in the core, just air core and it's plastic. It's operated with a magnetic reed switch. Here again, you get it on uh, Amazon or eBay, that's the little switch right there. When the magnet goes by that, it closes. It's normally open and the magnet closes the switch. The um, way it operates is when a magnet goes by that switch, it closes and that sends the energy around through the circuit like this. It's very, very simple. Now the LED is an indicator that will flash with uh, down to like one and a half volts or so, so you don't have to have three volts to run it. I am running this on a 2.7 volt, 3.3 farad supercapacitor preloaded with about two and a half volts. Um, the way the LED operates is when the switch opens up, the energy that was in the coil comes backwards like this or some people say it goes forward. So that's how the reed switch operates. I'm just using two magnets on a rotor floated in water and that's getting away with a lot of the friction. And like I say, when you do that, you don't even need a, a driver to make this thing work. You just need a paper clip. And like I say, it would make a great desktop toy to fiddle with. And then if you wanted to put your driver on it, you just put the the driver up there and she should take off. There it goes. Runs for a few minutes on the energy. Now you could run this on a battery, of course, and that would be just fine too. But let me take it apart. Let me show you what's going on in here. Um, it's a glass close. You could use a plastic one too. Anything you want to use. I just built up a little structure here with magnets at the top to hold the needle. And then the, the uh, plastic lid is floating in water. And this is just the bottom of a plastic water bottle. And you see how it floats upright. And um, that's where the water comes in. Um, now underneath here is just the, uh, the needle. And the magnets are just stuck on the lid with the traction. They're not even glued. Uh, what's under here is the magnet. Let me dump the water out here. And there's the magnet under there. And that holds the needle upright. Without the water in the cup, of course, the rotor is just going to flop over. It's not going to it's not going to stay up. So you need the water to float the rotor in the cup. But anyway, that's where I'm at with this float motor. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a neat little project. Thanks for watching.